In May of 2021, following a period of extensive training, C Squadron of the 1st Queen's Dragoon Guards deployed to Mali in West Africa. This deployment was part of Operation Nukem, the code name for the British contribution to the United Nations peacekeeping mission in Mali. And alongside C Squadron, A Company of the 2nd Battalion, the Royal Anglian Regiment, was also deployed to the country. Based in the city of Gao, both C Squadron and A Company came under the command of the Long Range Reconnaissance Group. And within the United Nations framework, their principal task was conducting long range reconnaissance patrols into areas of northeast Mali that were isolated from the rest of the country and were thus under greater influence of insurgent groups. A statement provided by the Ministry of Defense outlines that. The information gathered from these patrols will help improve the UN mission commander's understanding of the situation on the ground and enable the mission to respond to threats to the people of Mali more effectively. The Long Range Reconnaissance Group will work with international partners to build stronger communities, help tackle extremism and ensure the protection of civilians is prioritised. Five months into their deployment, in October of 2021, C Squadron and A Company began preparing for Operation Makara 3, a large-scale security patrol to the village of Menaka, where a high-profile meeting between representatives of the Malian government, the United Nations and local armed groups was scheduled to take place later in the month. Beginning on the 17th of October, the British task group set off on a 350km drive to Menaka with the group forced to go across country rather than taking the most direct route to avoid the risks of IEDs. Despite this diversion, by the 20th of October, the Long Range Reconnaissance Group had made good progress towards its objective, and it was on that day that Sea Squadron sent out small patrols to identify and map additional routes that branched off from the main track. Initially, these patrols carried out their task without incident, but it was as one was returning to the main body of the Long Range Reconnaissance Group that a significant development occurred, as a report released by the 1st Queen's Dragoon Guards details. On their return, and in a similar scenario to the incidents in September, the lead troops identified two insurgents with weapons on a motorbike. The troops set about to interdict the individuals in order to detain them for carrying illegal weapons. On board four Jackal armoured vehicles, the British patrol moved off to intercept the insurgents, who were soon observed abandoning their motorbike and disappearing on foot into a piece of scrubland. Accordingly, after closing in on this area, elements of the patrol dismounted from their vehicles and advanced on foot into the scrubland, but no sooner had they done so, did the men of C Squadron come under heavy fire from the two insurgents, who suddenly reappeared no more than 10 metres away. Immediately, those soldiers that had dismounted got behind cover, whilst those who had remained on board the vehicles began returning fire. Initially, only the vehicle-mounted general-purpose machine guns were used, but very quickly, the 50 cal machine guns and 40mm grenade launchers, which were mounted on top of the jackals, were brought into action. Such was the weight of fire that the patrol brought down onto the enemy's location that the firefight was effectively over within a matter of minutes. And once the gunfire had died down, those dismounted British troops cautiously moved up and secured the enemy position. Here they found the two insurgents killed, in addition to one AK-47, one PKM machine gun, approximately 100 rounds of ammunition, and a radio that the enemy had been using. Thereafter, the patrol gathered what evidence they could and recovered the enemy equipment, before mounting back up onto their vehicles, and continuing on their way to rejoin the rest of the Long Range Reconnaissance Group. Remarkably, despite the nature of the engagement, no British soldiers were hit during the firefight, with slight damage to a door of one of the Jackal armoured vehicles marking the extent of the damage inflicted on the patrol. Further, whilst this engagement was small in scope, it was historically significant, for it marked the first time since the end of combat operations in Afghanistan in 2014, that British troops, excluding those in the Special Forces, had been involved in combat against an enemy force. 
Speaking on the incident, Lieutenant Colonel Will Meddings, the officer commanding the 2nd Battalion, the Royal Anglian Regiment, and who was, at the time, the commander of the Long Range Reconnaissance Group, commented that, It's exactly what I'd expect any soldier to do if rounds were striking the armour of their vehicle or landing around their comrades, which they were that day. Our intention was to question and detain, but I've always been clear, if you engage British peacekeepers, you should expect your fire to be returned with interest.